What's up guys? Welcome to a new video. Today's topic is again a pretty pretty cool transition. It's more like a dreamy dreamy transition so I call it the dream transition. Um, Captain Obvious incoming. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, the transition looks like this. So it's really, really a fancy transition. Uh, it's a lot going on on the screen, but that's all right because normal is boring. <laughs> Not always, sometimes less is more, but in this case, it's pretty, pretty cool. And I really, really like the result. I hope you guys like the result too. And before we are jumping into the tutorial itself, please consider giving this video a thumb up and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to activate the bell so you won't miss any video in future. But now we're jumping into LumaFusion. <laughs> Welcome LumaFusion. We are starting right away with creating the dream transition. As always in LumaFusion, at first you have to cut your transition area. Therefore, we are cutting away one second at the end of the first clip and one second at the beginning of the second clip, like seen on the screen. So these two seconds are our transition area. And we are starting by editing the first one second long clip by double tapping it. And then we are on Colon FX. If not, if you're maybe on Frame and Fit, click here and you're on Colon FX. And then we are adding, by clicking on the water drop, the Gaussian 40 blur. And we are going, going to add two keyframes, one at the beginning and one at the end. At the end, we are setting the Gaussian blur to 50 and at the beginning to zero. So it's building up like this. Then we're going back to our timeline and double tapping the second one second long clip and doing the same but the opposite. So we are adding the Gaussian blur 40, adding a keyframe at the beginning and at the end. And at the beginning we're setting the radius to 50 and at the end to zero. So now we have this kind of ramp of blur. This itself would already be a simple transition but of course that's not the aim of this tutorial. So the next one will be by clicking on this twirl there, we have to add the twist effect. And we're doing pretty much the same like before. We're setting a keyframe at zero and one at the end. And at the beginning, we're setting the radius to zero. And at the end, it has to be 0 0.95, so like this. So now we've got this nice twirl or twist. And again, at the second clip, we're doing the same, but the opposite. Adding twist effect, one keyframe at the beginning with a radius of 0 0.95, and at the end, a keyframe with a radius of zero. Then we are going to add the next effect. So this will be an effect only transition. Again, click on the twirl and select the kaleidoscope one. Therefore, we are going to 10 frames. You see the blue 0 0.10, that means you're 10 frames away from the beginning, adding a keyframe and setting the blend to 100 or to one. And at the end, we are setting the blend to zero. So the kaleidoscope is blending in this area from there to there. And again, like before, the same but the opposite on the second clip. Keyframe at the beginning, with a blend of zero and keyframe at 0 0.13 frames with a blend of one. And now the effect looks like this. So pretty special, 
but I kind of like it. Looks a little bit magic. It's of course very different to all the other transitions, but sometimes to be different isn't the worst thing. I really like it. To add a nicer transitions between the colors of the clip. So this one is like a bright warmer clip and this one is like a dark blue clip. The uh, I would call it the flower here in the middle. They have pretty different colors. So this is a harsh transition between a bright clip and a dark blue clip. Um, what we are going to do is we are cutting away five frames like this at the beginning and at the end. And then we are going to transitions and we're adding a simple cross dissolve between those two and lengthen it to eight frames like this. And now it blends much nicer. And that's it. That's the dream transition. What you could of course do is simply save this one as a preset by clicking on the star, call it dream transition and click on the star and you will have a preset of this transition, which I would recommend doing because then you can simply add it by clicking on your presets. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Please give it a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to activate the bell as well so you won't miss any videos in future. And as always, if you are too lazy to create this effect yourself, you can always find it in my LumaFusion Ultimate Bundle, which will be updated regularly, which contains all my transitions, intros, presets, sound effects, sluts, all you need for LumaFusion. So go and check it out. Link is down in the description or up in the right corner in the info box. And we see each other in the next tutorial. Till then, bye.